monkey there scratching his head. Well, how much is that monkey? Six dollars. Oh, that's a deal for a monkey. <laughs> We are at the St. Clair Antique Mall in, well, I don't know, somewhere in Illinois. But um, I'm not sure what town we're in. I'm just following the lead. But we're going to go in to this antique mall right behind me and see what we can find. We've got Jeffrey and Barb and Mark. And let's go shopping. No. What? Okay, here we go. This little, he's kind of cute though for 4th of July display yeah his paint's really kind of gone around his drum but he's three dollars most of the prices in here are usually pretty low and that's not like bad a random thing that they really value oh jeffrey got an alley i pinched my finger on the thing yeah. mm -hmm, that hurts pinocchio Pinocchio. Well, look Accentuate the positive, like Johnny Mercer. I like this stuff. I don't know why. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I do. There's a duck. Oh, the glass duck. It's a big one. Oh, there's... I, okay. I don't like... You know, I don't like clowns, but that's kind of a neat cookie jar. Oh, yeah. I have to say. Oh, yeah. For a clown. Cat, turtle. Oh, Bluebird of Happiness for $9. That's a little too steep for my pocketbook. George Washington Bear. Well, that's not bad. This is only three fifty. It's a peacock earring. Holder. Yeah, those are starting to become popular. I actually think I'll get that one. I bought one with monkeys on it the other day. Oh, earring holder. I had a poodle one. Yeah, they're starting to become popular. Oh my gosh, I have a whole crew of these bunnies at my house. That's Treasure Craft. Sprite. I have a Treasure Craft one just like... Ex Oh, you don't know what I've got. I've got like a vase, a green vase, and it has a... I was going to buy it, but yeah. I didn't. Oh, look at that. Red <laughs> and I sound disgruntled about yeah. it. <laughs> I was going to buy it, but... It was my joy. Oh, I love that little paper mache pumpkin look, right there. There's another earring holder. I know, holder. and there's an owl one there, too. I put oh, the I like the owl. In here. I just got a silver one. I know. <laughs> Squirrels with tennis rackets. Those. Uh, that's always a good time. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. Look at all those little pricksies there. They're all just tangled up and jumbled all into one another. I bet. Oh, no, I like the turkey. Yeah. Well, oh, look, you could do a minute to win it here, and then Barb can go. <laughs> See, look, here we go. Bunnies. Oh. oh, my gosh, I like that. It is $32. Jeffrey, you could get that and tie it to your door. No. <laughs> I could get this and tie it to my door. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it's only $450. This is the, the section. bougie. Here's some lemons. Pillowcases, Jeffrey. $4.50. No, we're just kidding. $9, $10. This is a turkey. Turkey. Oh, these are cute. Little mice for six ninety five. Oh, here's another bell. Six ninety five. Oh, you're fourteen. Oh, if you weren't so chipped up, I'm sorry, Puda Schnuda. Oh, he does. Oh, someone drilled him to get his money out. This booth is like. I guess this is all new. Oh, like, okay. Some of, the, some of it seems like tricky, though. You know, sometimes yeah. it's like... Look yeah. at those saucy-looking <laughs> reindeer. Cha-cha-cha. Like cha -cha -cha. They're sitting there. All kinds of... Well, and then there's... Ho-ho-ho! Those... Ho. I found turkeys. I have I have this. Now. Actually, I was with... You guys were with me in Ohio when oh, I bought this Oh, and it's 30% off. Oh, well, I already have this one. Do you need one? Yeah. I have like lots of these. I, I don't like need any more. But it's past pumpkin time. No, you can have pumpkins out yeah, in the. I'm a little I don't like them. these, but I do like those. Oh, there's leaves. I like. Oh, a this one's kind of. That's kind of pretty though. I like that speckled plate back down there. The leaf. See it in the back corner. Oh yeah. Four dollars. Oh, that's not bad. 
That's three dollars. That little. There's a gold one and a. Orange. Well, you should get them. Well, I mean. Oops. Yeah, I kind of like it. I like it too. Mm. You can put um, soap on it. Soap in a leaf. Yeah. <gasps> baby, little baby Misty's right here. <laughs> That's a cool doll. Oh. It's your sister. It's my sister. She's she's got glasses on in her box. She's giving you the side eye. What's it called? Chatty Kathy. Oh no, Charmin. Oh, Charmin. Chatty. Chatty. That's Charmin. <laughs> <laughs> she would be $20. Oh. <laughs> monkey there scratching his head. Yeah, how much is that monkey? Six dollars. Oh, that's a deal for a monkey. <laughs> and a food dog. Can don't know how much it is because the price tag's upside hey, down. I that monkey. Do oh. you need its mate? No. Oh, well. Oh, there's a little bear. Bank bottle bear. I love it. It's $30. Oh. Yeah, just look at it. That's all I I think I did that same thing. <laughs> that's so ago. cute. I've got baby Misty here. Here, will you hold her, Barbara, and we're going to show the people what she does. <gasps> you play with me? Oh, I think you're nice too, baby Misty. <laughs> All right, guys. Hi, and welcome back. We're now getting into the haul portion of this Shop Along With Me video. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff that day, but I did get some decent things. And I'm just looking, and I think that there are maybe just a couple things that I'm considering keeping maybe i'll show you those well there are a few things i'm going to keep this is the this is the first thing that i'm going to keep and it is this girly candle turkey now a lot of you are wondering what happens to these girly candles when someone lights them and that's what happens to them they just kind of cave in on themselves luckily this turkey was spared from being completely destroyed from someone lighting him on fire you're not supposed to burn these people they're just for pretty they're just for look. Don't don't burn them. Uh, this was uh, back in the day, eighty nine cents. Even though the thing says place candle on a plate when burning, don't burn them. Be nice to the candles. They just want to look pretty on your shelf. They don't want to be burned. Don't burn them. So I am keeping him and I'm adding him to my collection of turkeys. This is another turkey item, and I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. I've never seen anything like this before. I just really liked it. It is this cup and it has a turkey on it or a mug. I guess it's more of a mug than it is a cup, but it has a little Tom turkey on it. On this side, it has a pumpkin. Do I need this? No, so I probably will sell it, but it's kind of a Majolica look to it. It doesn't have any markings on the bottom, but I just thought it was neat. You can put anything you want to in here. So I probably will sell that because honestly, I don't need it. Um, I did get this for $3. And this one is a Kimple mold dated 1985. You can see there on the bottom. Now, I did sell a pair, a couple of reindeer in my live sale last week that were very Kimble inspired, but they, they didn't have this mold mark on them. So this one does have the mold mark on him. And he's a little penguin. It was $3. Isn't he cute? This little red bow. He's all ready for Christmas. But so cute. They kind of look like stuffed animals. So I've never seen the penguin before. I am having regrets. There was a dinosaur at Savers that I didn't get. And I wish that I would have. So, but I did get the penguin. And he'll be available during a live sale. Or, you know, it, as always, if you see anything that you're interested in, and I haven't had it in a live sale preview video, you can send me an email. And, you know, if it's still available, then you can purchase it directly from me. All right, I'm saving the Santas for last because I got several Santas. Now, this is a shortened haul. This haul is not, it's not a very long haul. All right, I got this, well, it's not really a, if it's a tea towel, it is a rather large tea towel. This is probably one of the biggest tea towels I've ever seen, but it has this cat on it. See the little cat on there? And it says, Monday. And he looks so sad. I don't, since I am now, you know, working and doing this, I don't, I don't not like with Mondays. I like Mondays. It's a whole brand new week of whole new opportunities and a full week to be able to get things done. That's what I see Mondays as. But yes, there's Mondays and he looks so sad, but it's okay, little kitty. Mondays are a good day. I don't know what he's got going on down here. If that's clothespins. Yeah, that's clothespins. Monday must be his laundry day. 
and he's sad because he has to do laundry on Monday. Really nice cotton, big tea towel. So with a cat on it. And I tend to buy the ones with the animals on them. If I can find them, those are my favorite ones. Uh, so they, they have faces on them. I like those with faces on them. And, and I got this. I think it's a tablecloth. Yeah, here a tablecloth with butterflies. It's like a little card table size. Or actually, I think it just might be a square table topper. But it has these four butterflies on each side. Needlepoint. Very nice. They're the same on all four sides. And it has this kind of a brown etching. Or stitch, I guess. It would be more of a stitch than an etching. All the way along the edge of it. So... I got that. I like, again, I mean, this isn't an animal necessarily, but it's the next step up. It's an insect. All right. I did get this little guy, and I actually had seen him at Goodwill, and I didn't buy him, but then I saw him again at this antique mall, which is weird, but it's little baby Jeff Jeff. And looking just like little baby Jeff Jeff does when little baby Jeff Jeff doesn't get his way. Ah. But you can spin him. Oh, no, you can't spin him. You wind him up and he gets so angry and throws a little fit. Maybe I'll end the video with Jeffrey throwing a little temper tantrum for you all to see. There he is. All mad. Mad baby Jeffrey. He's spinning around in circles. So I had to get him. He'll just sit and watch me while I work. All right, the next few things are, let me just see. <sighs> I haven't made up my mind yet if I'm going to keep. I think I might sell one of these things. And then the rest, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Well, let me show you this first. This it will be up for sale. And it is a Noel, Noel. This is a Christmas card holder. So the Noel part, each letter has a little pocket so you can store your Christmas cards in there. So that's felt, just a fun piece for your Christmas cards. And I got these stances. Now this one, I, I don't know. Once I get my Christmas things down, if I already have one of him, I probably will sell this guy, but I love these flocked Santas, and I have a lot of the smaller ones, um, and, but I do like the bigger ones, too, so I don't know if I'm going to keep him or sell him, and my favorite part about him, look at his little feet, just dancing on his little platform. He's so happy. So I got him, and then I got this guy, and I, I carried him around with me at the store like a little baby, because he's just precious, and look at him. See? Look at his little hands. Look. Hello. He's got a little metal, metal arms with little felt mittens. He's got a plastic face. He's, he's from the 50s. He's just really cool. He's, now, he's got big feet. Big boots. Oh, oh, my. And he's got no feet. He's got no feet. He's got no feet. What are you made out of, Santa? Kind of cardboard. That's a little spooky. Is your other one like that, too? It sure is. Well, we're going to leave your boots on, Santa. You are mighty okay, just the way that you are. I love his little arms, though. He's got itty-bitty little hands. So he's just weird enough for me and a little bit creepy. So I think I'm going to keep him, at least for this year. I tend to do that. I'll keep something for one season. He's definitely made in Japan. I don't see any, any markings on him, but I can... I can tell he's definitely a made in Japan Santa with his little, little hands. So I'm going to keep him. This guy, I might already have this one and I, I'm not sure, but it is a spaghetti. And this is what we call spaghetti. Like the way that his trim is like a, it's bumpy. It's bumpy. This is a spaghetti Santa bank. Does not have its stopper. Uh, I do collect these Santa Banks. I have a lot of them. I actually do collect the Home Co. ones. Uh, my mother-in-law got me started on that collection. I have my husband's fir very first Santa that he received when he was a little child, and it kind of started that collection. So they did make different ones for different years. 
I'm not quite sure if I have this one or not. Don't know if I'm selling him or don't know if I'm keeping him. I know I'm being no help to you, but um, we'll see. He's really pretty neat. I like his spaghetti. And he's he is another happy. He's a happy Santa. I tend to like the creepy and angry looking Santas. Or the Santas that have unproportionate body parts on them. I don't know. This is the one that I still don't know whether or not I'm keeping or if I'm selling. He's just kind of creepy, but kind of classy. His beard needs a little bit of fluffing, but here he is in his uh, red lame Santa Claus suit. This was the Santa Claus that was going to a party. Look at him. Woohoo! Party! He's got his little whatever that is right there. He's got his little white boots on. His beard is a little is a little messed up, and he also I'm not sure where his other arm is. Oh, there we go. His other arm is here, and he's got a sack full of presents, but it's kind of hard to see his other arm. Maybe we should. There we go. We'll 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 bend him out a little bit so you can see all of his parts. He does have he's standing on a drum, and it's got this old uh, tinsel down here, and he has a music box. Isn't he fun? Uh, Jingle Bells? I think that's what he sings. Yes, that's Jingle Bells. Okay, be quiet, Santa. So this is, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. If I'm going to keep him. I said be quiet. Yeah, we don't want to get in trouble by YouTube for playing your song too long. So I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet, but he is awfully fun. Shh. I like his little hands, too. He kind of has little metal arms and hands like the other Sant is. But I love his fancy suit. He's got a fancy suit. That's all I got from the trip to the St. Clair Antique Mall. Definitely would go back there um, if I'm ever back in the area, which I probably will be back in the area. I'll go back down and visit Jeffrey when it's safe to go out and explore again. I would definitely go. So if you're in the... Trenton, Illinois area. Where was St. Clair, Illinois? That's where it was. Like I said, I had a hard time remembering where we were at because I wasn't driving and I just was kind of along for the ride. So I just went wherever they took me to go. But St. Clair, Illinois, which is where the St. Clair Antique Mall is. And I highly recommend going if you're down there. Thank you so much for watching this small little shop with me and haul video. Make sure that you do give this video a thumbs up. Send me an email if you are interested in something and we can work out a deal if it's still available. And I hope that you're subscribed to my channel and give it a thumbs up. Did I already say that? I think I already said that. But until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.